President Hagainda Hijilema says when electricity is switched off during the current load shedding schedule, lights must never go out at facilities that offer life-saving and essential services. President Hijilema says while he understands the current crisis, he has directed the Energy Committee to find immediate means to ensure hospitals, water pumping stations and learning institutions are not load shed. As much power must be available within the context of the shortage to hospitals. Imagine a situation that there's an operation going on in a hospital and there's a load shedding, power goes off, and someone is on the operating table. Will that person survive? Colleagues, citizens. So your government is saying this is not to continue. He has also announced plans to consider what he has called lifeline supply of electricity to power small businesses in an effort to help them stay afloat amidst the crisis. We're looking at lifeline power su supply for small businesses that are negatively impacted by this energy insecurity occasioned by the drought. All of those that sit in the procurement units must continue to rationalize on the resources that have been left even in the budget, the skinned budget, so we can continue to create savings and move those savings towards supporting the disaster and emergency declaration. President Ijinima reviewed that government has engaged the private sector and pension institutions who have agreed to finance the second phase of the expansion of Mamba collieries, which will see 300 megawatts of electricity being evacuated in the national grid. By 20 hours that day, we had raised $90 million in this country, not outside, to support these measures. And today, Mamba Phase 2, I believe, will be signed in a few days from now. Financial closure will be achieved. The president further notes that donors and investors are responding to government's call for assistance towards responding to the energy and drought crisis. This week, we'll have another cooperating partners coming here, traveling here, to offer their support towards this emergence. I think citizens need to know that you are not alone, we are not alone. It is said that charity begins at home. We make the appeal, yes, for support, but we must walk the talk as a nation. So the president asked cabinet and cabinet agreed and therefore instructed the Minister of Finance and National Planning to review, to realign, completely realign the 2024 national budget. He says his recent meeting with King Charles III of the United Kingdom has also secured a $15 million towards setting up an interconnector with Tanzania to facilitate for electricity imports and exports in times of surplus. ZESCO now, we've, we've dictated to ZESCO that they will put together a unit to accelerate the construction of the Zambia-Tanzania interconnector, which is, itself becomes the Zambia-Tanzania-East Africa interconnector, which means now we can go up to Ethiopia to trade in power. If Ethiopia has more power than us, Kenya, we can buy. When we will have more power, and I know we will, they can buy. That is a design. Dealers in solar energy equipment have also been aided to ensure that government incentives that have zero-rated taxes of equipment trickle down to citizens. Masao Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, State House, Lusaka.